Jaguar people. Big up on the self, you know. We there, we there, we there, we there, we there. We is our day here. Seen. Everything is everything, man. Bless upon yourself, people. Bless upon yourself. All right, a raga shanty. Hold on, let's turn on something. A raga shanty live on the ears right now up on the Big Bad Bridge 99 FM. That's all the thing there. Now, if you have check for this and that and this and that and. Yeah, man, greetings and blessings and respect. Yeah, man, we get right to the point. Who know about one place when you're Cassava River? President, you about Cassava River? You don't know about Cassava River. You ever hear about Glen Gough? You never hear about Glen Gough? President, you never hear about Glen Gough? Oh, President, you know how much people write me and I say, poor President. Poor President, the amount of time you call President name. Every minute you call president and a bad hey, president, people are defending you, know, you know, people are attack me and I defend you, you know. President, that's the thing then, you know, the people, they might attack me and I say, oh, loud president, man. You understand? Anyway. Right. <laughs> if people ever beat me with my belly, so my belly big. I saw it go. One and one time for him going on, I can't have this with any thing skinny, you know. Now, if you take beating around here, um, you know, well, you don't know my thing. Time for my mind thing, so beat me, beat me. But I'm about my gut, it's all right. We can manage. But anyway, so, you have a place named Cassava River. Cassava River. Cassava River. All right, before me even say nothing, I want somebody to call and tell me where Cassava River is in Jamaica, right? The number, 876-676-4996. I want somebody to call and tell me which part Cassava River is. That's the first thing I want somebody to do right now. Somebody call me right now, 876-676-4996. Four nine nine six. Call and tell me where Cassava River is. Eight seven six six seven six four nine nine six. I want somebody call and tell me where Cassava River is. President, look up Cassava River in Jamaica. Make I see if I can find that in a Google map. Cassava River in Jamaica. Let me see if I can find it. Where is Cassava River? Why am I can't even spell it? C-A. Cassava is spelled with two S-R-1. No, 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 no. Cassava River. Jamaica. All right. See it come up there. Bam. Right there, they say. Google of it, right, man? All right, on a Google Cassava River in Jamaica, and look which part it there. When on a door, on a sister, it is very near to where? Glen Gough. Prezi, you, you, you Google it. All right, give me a call. Hello. Night, Raga. Good night. What yeah, going on? You're right. What you say? Yeah, man, you're right. What, what I'm Cassava. right about what? Cassava was in Glen Gulf in St. Catherine. Are you from that area? I have a, have a relative that lives in that area, brother. You have a what? I have a relative that lives in that area. Okay. Do you know any other family names them up in that area? <laughs> no, brother. I'm not interested to know. No, no. <laughs> what, you mean? <laughs> what you mean you're not interested to know? Why? <laughs> Why? Why 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 I want to know the family name? We know the area but that means that we know the the family name up there, Raga. Okay. But you know about Cassava River though, right? The past for Cassava River we wouldn't want to to Tavern. To where? Lawrence Tavern. To where? Lawrence Tavern. Lawrence Tavern. Let me see if it, let me see Mr. Lawrence Tavern. Lawrence Tavern, it's in it's in Andrew. Is it where? 
Ten Andrew. Right, right, right. Because we say, Glenn, oh, but it's the right one. It's almost the near at the border, that. The borderline, right, Raga? Oh, well, and then it don't look like it. They were, it then near. Watch it, though. It look like it then near to, um, it's like St. Andrew. Mm hmm. Um, St. Catherine and St. Anne. Yeah, it, and look at St. Andrew. Eh? St. Andrew. Right, but it look like it have St. Anne to the, or a St. Mary that to the north. Well, St. Mary to the north because it bought a St. Andrew, St. Mary, St. Anne. Exactly. Farming it's at that intersection. Yes. Kingston. I'm going to go less four different parts. St. Catherine um, entangled in, 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 in our Well, I wouldn't. No, well, I don't know. No, I wouldn't say Clarendon, you know, I'm going to say Clarendon, this one. Clarendon was up on the south. Up on the south, sir? All mm -hmm. right. Um, all are by, all are by south. Well, all are by south. No, but you know, reach over Clarendon, but it, it, uh, it there were three, it the near to a tree parish me. St. Andrew, so St. Catherine, and St. Mary. Saint. Uh, yeah. No, St. Catherine is the parish you're talking about, Raga. Yeah. Yes, man, but uh, we are so, talking about so St. Andrew, St. Mary, and St. Catherine. Well, Kingston is to the oh. south, too. yeah. To the, to. But we're we interesting up in that era there. Guess who come from Cassava River? Not the so-called pastor, Raga. Ah, Chio. Yes, man. So that's why you're afraid that I don't want to, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Raga, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So why are you afraid mixed. of that? If you come from there, you could have get a title to win or you could have, them could have a call it His Excellency. I want me to you. Is that, is yeah. that right, brother? <laughs> <laughs> you know what people have to see and call you? Hey, hey, his hey, Excellency. Hey, 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 no, man, they don't want to boss. And then you can't get up and then I bust all lyrics like you go live up and say, Everybody want to touch her for me. <coughs> Everybody want to touch her for me. <coughs> <laughs> all right, big up yourself. I'm to mix up. I'm me to tell you, don't. <laughs> all right, thank you for calling in and sharing that, do you? All right, Raga. Blessed and tidings. Yeah, man. So, people, just like you hear the caller just now say, Cassava River is near to Glengar. And I'm looking at this, and Cassava River look like it kind of depends on the border of St. Catherine and St. No, that's a Oberlin High School over here. So, yeah, yeah. Temple Hall and, yeah, yeah, St. Catherine and St. Um, Andrew with St. Mary to the north. Just to the north, you know. So where those three parishes intersect, Cassava River is quite near, and it um, appears to be straddling the border between St. Catherine and St. Andrew. And below um, Cassava River is the very famous Above Rocks. Well, if our people know Above Rocks, Jesus of mercy, people. May they look for this something. You don't know so one place that they name Suki Girl. You didn't know that? Eh? Prezi? One place, you know, like you have Cassava River, you have Glengarp, South, you have St. Fiat, and you have one here and you have Suki Girl. And below that, you have Zion Hill. Big up my son Zion, a theme place that. <laughs> yeah. But, gentlemen, well, the, the pastor, he is from Cassava River. Now, people, I have been, some people been a link me, and I've been making some calls to and trying to get some clarification of some things and whatever. And in a way, just trying to contextualize some of what's been going on. Because when I observe Mr. Smith, Mr. Kevin Smith, for people in the helping profession, they would have recognized some classic behavior. And um, behavior that uh, are symptomatic of certain uh, mental disorders. Now, some of the things that I saw with him, they could, con they, they, they could um, constitute symptoms of several different mental disorders, right? You have, you, have a, you have a family of delusional mental disorders, right? You know, delusions is, you know, 
firmly believing in a reality that is not grounded in, 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 in what other people you know, see, right? So you create an alternate space and thing, and it's very real for you, right? And um, you have everyday common delusions where people have and be like, oh, you're so deluded, or you're so delusional. But you have clinical level de um, delusions, like proper, proper sickness level, right? Delusions that are quite serious. You also have um, various forms of antisocial behavior, um, antisocial um, disabilities that um, I was wondering because I say some, I saw that he was behaving in doing some things where may I wonder if some of those things um, applied. Um, but I must admit that the diseases that I had initially thought that I, I, I saw, like some symptoms of and say, it could be this one, you know, and it could be that time, whatever. Because there's no way to do this, because you don't have the, the, the person in front of you, the client in front of you, to, 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 to do the battery of tests that you have to go through in order to come up with a, an accurate diagnosis. But I must admit, the ones that I was considering, I, I, I don't even know how I never go over to, to this one. And again, people, let me just make you know, I am guessing. I am speculating. I am speculating. But I would like to think that I'm speculating from, a, from an orientation that is more qualified than, than, than what many of you understand. Because many of you just can't condemn him, say he's wicked and evil and things like that, and argument done right this time. Now, I am not excusing his behavior. Because there was a, a certain consciousness of purpose in his actions, you know, that is, was quite obvious. And um, those um, consciousness of purpose, they redounded to his benefit. So when people have a pattern of behavior and they advocate a pattern of stances that continuously favors them, that continuously grants them reward, there is a, there, 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 you know, that constitutes a, you know, deliberate behavior, some selfish, narcissistic type of thing right there where you can accurately say, well, the person know what they might do. So I'm not excusing this. I just want to be clear about that. Right? And let me just kind of reiterate it. This man, Kevin Smith, conducted himself in ways where him know what him did I do. For him own a benefit. Right? He was, um, not only was he charismatic, and he obviously has the gift of gab. He can, you know, him, I'm speaking full of lyrics. In full of lyrics. But um, he, um, he actively engaged in showmanship. Put it that way. So, him know how to put himself out there. Him know how to promote himself. Him know how to, you know, present himself in an elevated position, right? Whether or not that elevated position is valid according to the social rules of wherever he was, which was Jamaica, that is irrelevant. The point is, he put himself there. This is a man, you saw the pictures, he was in the pool, and him have a man in the pool, in with him, with umbrella, you know, <laughs> you see that picture there, right? That is presenting yourself in an elevated position, you know? That is just saying that my social stature is of, is of such height that you're supposed, to be, you're supposed to be covering me from the sun all when me in the water. I don't no, take no call yet, I don't take call, but not yet, right? So he, he knew what he was doing. When he demanded that um, they, um, they referred to him as um, his, excellent, his Excellency, he knows what he was doing, right? We know who is referred to as His Excellency, right? It's obvious. It's right there. The Governor General and all them people and whatever, they are the ones who get those titles. And Not that I care for those that much either. I'm just telling you that he understands that and that he, he actively designed a structure, a lifestyle, that served him in that capacity. So, 
me, me just go on a little context now with some of the things that we hear. And let me just be clear, people. All that I'm about to share with you, some of it, they're facts. But in terms of diagnosis, from me, it's speculation. Speculation, right? So just be clear about that. In other words, this is what Raga is thinking. Second, I'm going to make a, 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 an argument for Mr. Smith having some form of mental disability. However, again, please do not interpret what I'm about to say in any way to say, oh, see, he was sick. He never knew what he did I do. No. You can have a mental disability, you know, and still know what you do. You can have a mental disability and know wrong or right. Some of them. Now, I'm going to explain some things to you, but let us proceed. So, I understand that this man is from a place called Cassava River, and it is near Glengough. Now, Glengough is more known than Cassava River. What the people him tell me is that I'm actually from a very quiet and humble family. Right? I'm from a very quiet and humble family. Now, the family pan over the side, they know what I'm informed is that the family on the mother's side, that every them say anybody who come from Glengarth and Cassava River, they know what I'm about to tell you right now. Right? So it's people from that area there. Say, Raga, we are tell you what I go on. We could tell you what I go on. And listen now. Them say the, his family from the mother's side, them know. Because them can't go back to him great grandmother. Can I have a name here? Some near me I go call, some near me not go call, all right? But that, you know, them said they have always had, um, I, I'm not going to use the language Jamaicans use, right? But, um, you know, when them say, well, yeah, them say, I be, a, you know, I may tell you what them said. Them said, no, I rather pan, pan, pan fame side of family, them, I this, I be a mad people over this. Now, and, and, and um, you know, Anybody who is involved in counseling or psychotherapy, you know that um, the drill it in us do not refer to people like that, okay? But um, one of the, when them are tell me now about the family now, and them, them, them tell me something, several of them tell me something now, where when them tell me that, I was like, oh, damn, why, why me never think about that? Right? And them tell me something, if me, me start zeroing now upon a mental disorder that I must admit, I must admit, when me did I look upon him and I watch him and I watch him in the video, them and whatever, you know, I was, you know, I, I came up with several possibilities like, you know, what could be going on with him in terms of mental disorder. And I did not think of this one. And, and I, and I want to knock myself in a man because... Once them talk, present, allow me, make me talk, man, and free me up. Free me up. Free me up, present, free me up, present. Stop trifling, but you want to come take break. Free me up, present, free me up. Low is excellency. <laughs> free me up, free me up. Don't come tell me about no break. Next thing you know, you want to put me in a police camp or your chance for me to go somewhere. If you go ch formally charge me and then I go tell people about me in a car accident. Listen to me, president. Don't play me in a today the third day since the thing happened, you know. Today the third day, you know what that means. A man rise! <laughs> Don't play with me. Well, and Bobby Clark, now worry yourself. I'm going to take a break. I'm not ready yet. All right. Yes, so what I say is, so the people from the area now are telling me, and this is what they say. And one of them say, no, Raga. He said, from my mother's side of family, them had gone. I'm mad people them. But them always, listen to this, them always start out good. How later on in our life, them always get mad. I don't know if our people set them some. People, listen to me. My best guess with what's going on here is that it's quite possible that this man, Kevin Smith, may have been suffering from 
some degree of paranoid schizophrenia. No, take out the paranoid. Just the say schizophrenia. Because paranoid, paranoid schizophrenia is a type of schizophrenia. But, but don't worry about that right now. Just say schizophrenia. The thing with schizophrenia is it one of the marked thing about, by the way, um, just so you know, scientists, helping professionals, psychologists, and psychiatrists, they don't understand fully what schizophrenia is. So let me just make sure know about that right now. Right? They have treatments for it. They have um, psychoeducational treatment for it, psychosocial treatment for it, and they even have medication for it. But the medication, they don't cure. There's, there's no cure for schizophrenia. In fact, wait, let, let, let's just say schizophrenia, by the way, many people um, have misconceptions attached to schizophrenia. The popular misconception about schizophrenia, when people are defining it, they're really defining multiple personality disorder or split personality. Now, those are separate mental illnesses. Multiple personality, split, split personality. Those are separate um, 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 mental illnesses. Schizophrenia is really a pronounced psychological distortion of reality that is pretty much permanent. And what that means is schizophrenic, and, and, and schizophrenia, schizophrenia has a range. You have people who are severely schizophrenic, you have people who are mildly schizophrenic. The, the, the symptoms of schizophrenia and its manifestation has a lot to do with what the individual's mind is generating. Now, once you get on the level, you know, you can start to appreciate the range of this thing and how hard it is to kind of characterize and say these are the specific patterns that um, 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 you know, indicate or, or show that this person is a schizophrenic. Why? Because you're talking about somebody who has a distortion of reality. But each person distorts reality different. But the distortion of reality, listen now, this is very important now. The distortion of reality very often involves hallucinations, delusions, and you have a, you have some schizophrenic. They become um, well, we in a Jamaica would I say them slow, right? Cause. You have schizophrenic who people misinterpret for beliefs or them autistic or them have Down syndrome. And it's not autism or Down syndrome. But that there's, there, there's a, a, a way that schizophrenia is um, manifested that have some semblance to what you see in people who have Down syndrome or certain versions of autism with where we said them slow. But one of the key things again, when we just want to get, get back to, here's the thing. Again, you know, scientists don't understand schizophrenia fully, you know, but one thing is known. This is, this is the standard across the board. Don't block it. Schizophrenia, you don't see it from birth. For whatever reason, and I don't know. Let me tell you from now. I don't know. For whatever reason, schizophrenia in men, usually the term of the new speed is the onset. So it usually come about in men from late teens to early 20s. So when you start notice it, it's from late, no, no, late teens to late 20s. Now, but do, do, don't misinterpret me. If I say it lasts from late teens to late 20s, I said the onset of it usually come about for men from late teens to late 20s. In other words, the person start to have distortions of reality. They must start to have delusions. They start to have sittings, monsters and things and whatever. They start to assist them a, a king and this and that and whatever. They start. But remember now, you know, once it starts, it continues. So somebody, the, uh, an onset very often is mild, almost always it starts small and then it gradually gets worse. 
And, and in most cases, the worsening of the distortion of reality is actually quite slow. And just imagine somebody essentially, to use a, 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 a layperson term, they're losing their mind incrementally in, you know, in, you know, like piece by piece by piece by piece. And this is happening over years and them don't know it. And right through that time, they have to be coping with living in the world. So right through that time, them have to, um, in a fit of mind, them quite normal. Because pretty much all schizophrenic don't know that they are schizophrenic, right? Not, there's some, you know, them are able, because some going phases and them will tell us, no, I'm sick, you know, and I have to take my medication or whatever. But when them inner them delusion, when them inner them hallucination, right? What them I see and what them believe is real, 100% real. And when you are try to tell them, say, no, doggy, you not fly, you not ride no golden snake or nothing. Them look on you like you, man, you know. Yeah, I saw them do it, okay? The thing, though, is that once the onset comes about, they always use this word to be more and more and more, but sometimes I don't like use it because progress... We're used to the word progress meaning improvement, getting better, right? But progress can, be, can also mean increasing, right? And this is the language they use in, in, in the helping profession that I'm trained in. You know, I and, and only hear this already, so the thing gets progressively worse. I'm just saying for me, for my personal, <laughs> um, um, you know, wait, name there, I, I have always have a look at discomfort. There is something, I don't know, linguistically contradicting about saying progressively worse, you know? God, we're used to saying, come on, progress for saying we're a step up in our life. I want to, so when you talk about something that gets worse, you know, you don't want to be using progress, but you, you know what I mean. So once you have schizophrenia, it gets worse, people. It gets worse, right? Um, I would, I would have some, I would have need somebody in the field to, um, to, to tell me if there have been cases where um, people, um, you know, you know, develop, clearly develop schizophrenia, and then on their own, like in terms of the, um, the evolution of the disease in them, that it went away. I know of no instances of that, but perhaps I'd have to get somebody to tell me if that is true. But when I was studying, I know 100% sure there's no cure for schizophrenia. Not only there's no cure for schizophrenia, they don't understand it fully. They understand some things about it because some things are readily uh, are obvious, like the onset, but you know, there's no cure for it, and they don't understand it fully. The onset of schizophrenia in women tend to be, is generally, for whatever reason we don't know, is in the late 20s going into the 30s. But again, it's the onset. That just means when it starts. That just means when it start because from it start it continue and we want to understand that and when it continue them say it get progressively worse and what is it that is getting progressively worse the delusions the hallucination the distortion of reality the you know the things them where they must see where nobody else has seen them alone has seen but because they must see it because they must see it, they must try to get everybody else to you know, kind of justify what they must see. So apparently, it's running at them family. No, the people them who tell me, you know, them don't say schizophrenia. They use, you know, you know, ju you know colloquial Jamaican language. That, you know, hi, that, that, that I, as somebody who, who is in this field, you know, me can, you know, me can get a sense and I say, oh, damn, why me never? Schizophrenia, right? So, the language I would use here is that indications are from the symptoms identified in this family over years and years and years. 
appear, it don't mean that it is, appear to be consistent with a diagnosis of schizophrenia. So, them tell me, ah, you know, members of the family, you know, there's some members of the family where they know more than others, right? Right? So, me know about him, ma his, well, his mother is in um, Canada, so I have to be careful there. All right? Um, well, that is what I was told. I don't know if she's in Canada. I'm just going to tell her where the people are telling um, We hear about him, grandmother. We hear about him, great-grandmother. And, uh... <laughs> and there's one person there where, you know, people just seem to know in the area. And, it, and the reason why them know her is because some mix of us. And, I, and I'm just saying allegations are, right, that one of him, um, grand aunt, whose name starts with S, right? I, I people listen, I'm saying. Okay, what I'm about to say, I can't say. Me know what I do. Read them a different, right? Allegations are that um, somebody related to him, the people in the community, they just seem to know this person more than everybody else. And me, I mean, I say, why? I'm present. Low and be all. Remember, I said, they know the one I don't know that one. I don't know, I can't remember that person here, but I don't know that one there. And then, boom, is a mix up come out. They must say, nah, man, the one I want to know Sylvie, man. Because Sylvie did get, you know, fear your head did go to, but you know what I raga. Sylvie, you say, take Roddy and Roddy and Miss Carmel husband. <laughs> Mix up! So poor Sylvie, what people, these are allegations. I don't know who take who or whatever. I was not there. Me never seen nobody a back it up and a dash out the something, something. Me never seen nobody a send up this and that and whatever. But again, people, they were able to give me several of his um, family members, and it appears that they, you know, they, you know, that no fault of their own, that the family has been suffering from a, a very significant and severe mental illness. That, if I'm correct, again, be reminded, it's very severe. It um, it um, renders. You know, victims of it, um, uh, um, you know, unable to properly function in society. And it also, and they also end up creating these alternate worlds that they live in. So, if such is the case, then it, it would suggest then that one of the things that was active, you know, that was at work in Mr. Smith's um, conduct and his behavior might well be, you know, a, a well-known mental illness. All right? Um, again, President Law, me man, me say me going to make you take a break, man. You're going like you're asleep to break. You know, you hear Mr. Clark tell you, say, if you give me some latitude. President, you're going like me want war, you president don't ramp with me, you know. Oh, you know, you hear what the man say? He man say, Miss from Glenn Gough, Catherine Speak. He was wrong there, you know, because Catherine Speak not come from, from, not come from this, you know. Catherine speak not come from St. Catherine, you know. All that me check out, you know. Catherine speak must come from must Portland, you know. You have one water over there, must name Nature's Pure, where come from a place, they must Akazal or whatever. Hey, I, 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 I get the whole other thing, you know. Because uh, somebody said, no, nah, man, it come from where Porsche come from. And then somebody said, no, idiot. I know they say Porsche come from, Porsche come from Redwood. You understand? And somebody said, Akazal, she come from, and then, and then Nature's Pure Water come over there, so, and Catherine speak come. So when he might talk about Catherine speak and whatever, he just a talk about when he know and all these things and whatever, when he hear and say. But people, what I want to appreciate is that this man yeah, might um, be um, you know, suffering from a, a mental disorder in conjunction with his proclivities, right? Which is, um, listen, in, in ban over there, so, but in the go Canada, Right? Some people who was his neighbor, right? Some woman who know him say, because him good looking, girls did kind of drawn to him, but them say when them drawn to him, them say him really weird. Apparently, again, allegations are, apparently some reports of this was made already, Prezi. Prezi, yeah, him, when he, him, him married, you know? 
You know, same of a child and nobody don't know what the picnic is. You didn't know about that present. In my child, nobody, may I, may I ask about the picnic, nobody know. But that is good. I mean, I, I, and, and, and that child right now, I don't want anybody to find that child right now. You follow me, Mr. Prezi? Because, I don't want, you know, if it's a child, me don't want a picnic to deal with what's going on right here, so now, the pressure of what's going on, so now, and things. But Prezi, allegations are, are that the person who he didn't marry to catch him and do the things with a man. And I saw them mash up on all these things. You know it is um it is um it is well reported now about um what he did. Um reports are that he was um sexually abused a 21 year old man and uh the authorities in Canada um held him you know accountable for it under the law and supposedly they dip him after and Japa Jamaica. What them says, yo raga, when him get deep, you know, him no come down as where him come from, you know. A straight a man tiga be him go. And from him go man tiga be a over the sun build him thing a lucky city. You follow with me as a present? So you have some things when we can't say and some things when we can't say. Some of you, you hear about um the lawsuit, well, the legal matter involving former commissioner. Owen Ellington, and this is public record, people, so you uh, can't go check it out. Who has retained um, the representation of um, one Queen's Council, Peter Champagny. And on a matter regarding somebody who went on the internet and basically said he was raped by Mr. Smith. And that the matter was reported to the authorities when the commissioner was police. What, 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 when, when Mr. Ellington was commissioner, and they're alleging, you know, this post, and, and by the way, I'm going to make sure I say it's public first, that um, the commissioner, they're accusing the honorable gentleman, Mr. Ellington, that when he was commissioner, he did not allow the matter to be properly investigated because of some affiliation with the family. Um... Mr. Champagny, Queen's Council, lawyer in Jamaica, um, is representing Mr. Ellington on this matter. And um, he's um, very concerned about um, the elements of defamation that he's arguing that are very much inherent in the accusation. So that one is going on. But people know about it. And they're going to take it and run with it now. And I say, see it there. A long time he go on with things and he have connection with powerful people who oh, now nah, do so and so and so. And that now has fueled a whole bunch of um, conspiracies and speculations about the reason why he was killed is because he have a secret for some big people and all them something there, whatever. You know, so that you're the in people interpreting that in such a way that um, they're saying that it, you know, they're looking at it as some form of confirmation about their speculation that um, the demise of Mr. Smith was engineered, designed in order to protect members of the power class. And um, you can't tell certain people said, no, 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 go so. I have yet to see any evidence where we can say it is convincingly. So let me be on record and say, I am one of those who suggest, then I owe him just dead, so. I owe this just happened, so this, sensational spectacular thing come up and whatever and it just happened that him go dead and whatever i too said that but mina got jumped to no conclusion about anything else without evidence but what i want you to appreciate people is that according to people from the area that is from cassava river and glen Gulf in that area that you know unfortunately through no fault of their own people, through no what, and I'm not excusing Mr. Smith. I'm just saying there's a strong probability that um, he too, you know, may be suffering from this mental illness that um, exists in his family and that uh, is hereditary, right? So we just want to be clear. Hereditary means it passed down, Right? So it's, it, it, it has been going on through generations, right? 
And again, I'm not excusing his obvious narcissism that he displayed and the self-indulgence that he, he was mired in and, and um, you know, the, his self-perception and the accolades that he, you know, adorned himself with and, um, and, and the way he, you know, considered that to be very real and required um, people to follow him. And it is no coincidence, too, that it is in through religion that he was able to identify and, um, you know, create adherence. A-D-H-E-R-E-N-T-S. Both the word for followers, you know, right? Who say, boom, this is true about him and all him something there. Because the dynamics of religion, the structure of religion is such that people who who, you know, who, who is in those part, you know, the, 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 it, it is, that, that area is just ripe, you know, for, for as I explained um, several days ago, for convincing people that something that is not true is true. And you must believe it because you must base it on faith in God. Right? So if this man, indeed, has the evidence, you know, as some evidence support, me suffering from a mental disorder, and what with him being articulate, because him, 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 go, him go theology, college, and thing, you know, whatever, you know, so him can't talk, him full of lyrics, and thing like that. So if in combining those um, intellectual skills, you know, with, you know, this um, immersion, these years of immersion in an area of, uh, in an area that, that traffics in concepts and structures from the era of the supernatural. Supernatural mean without. Without actually mean outside. So outside of the norm, right? Which is what, you know, which is what religion is about, right? Religion is not about earthly things. Religion is about a celestial existence beyond the ordinary. So if he has been living in that space, and at the same time was experiencing an onset of a mental disorder. And what he considers to be real. It can be understandable when I start to reach a point where I feel the same as God. Because one of the things I noticed with him, you know, he kept using the first person. One thing with preachers, listen, listen to people. One thing with preachers and pastors, even when they must, when them say they must see of souls, they always refer to God in the third person. So first person is I am. The second person singular is you the individual are. And then the third person is he is. Right? And even though most preachers and pastors will say God will do this to you. And God will him do that to you know. Him do that to you know. Then, you know. Let me use a third person. God will deliver you. It's God that do this. It's God. Third person. Third person. Third. He was actually actively in the first person. He's saying, I. Him saying, I. I am this. I am that. And you're supposed to add this to me. And this to me. And this to me. Which is very different even from the other pastor. And when I work the church and for the people him sending the money, them still always I refer to God as a third person. Because God won't need for to come bring the money come. Because God so and so, we don't know. And God tells us to do it. Right? The closest them get to the first person is them always I say God I talk to them and I tell them things where the God not tell nobody else, right? Right? But him, he was using language. That essentially made himself synonymous with God. And that, that now is, you know, part and parcel of when you, have, you have slide down that slippery part now. Of insanity. When you have them type of mental disorder, they are going to couple it with a church atmosphere. Where the adherents, the followers supposed to do so on faith and don't question it. Because if you question it, you're blaspheming. And a Satan in your mind. Lego Satan. Just believe 100%. Holy and solely are coming at the thing. Right? When you combine them factors and whatever this and that, that's a recipe for disaster. Anyway, I'm going to take a break right here now. Because the one prince here bother me. And when we come back, we go... At 10 minutes to... Me back side. And when we come back... <laughs> 
Oh, Sprezzy. When we come back, we go to the phone line. Don't worry yourself, man. I'm going to make you take a break. Yo, we we'll are take two breaks today, Mr. Mr. Bobby Clark, so we can't take two breaks only. All right? So we're going to take one now. You hear? You hear me say? All right, we'll have a break. We're so far out. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Raga Shanti Live. Yeah, man, welcome back up in the juggling in our Raga Shanti Live. I'm going to tell you the phone line. I'm going to take on the calls right you now. Somehow, I'm going to tell me some things. I'm going to ask me how oh, I'm going to say them. So, listen to me. I know what I'm going to say. What I'm gonna say. All right? I know what I'm going to say, and I know what I'm going to say. All right, so if, if you share something with me, I'm going to say it. There, there's, there's quite likely a reason why I don't say it, and perhaps you are not cognizant of that reason. But um, don't beat me and say I forget something, right? Right? Don't beat me and say I forget anything. Okay. The number for calling right here now, but the, we want to hear one. Listen to me. Anybody in a Glen Garf or, from Cassava? My almost a cassava piece. <laughs> a cassava piece be used to a Kingston, you know. Cassava River. Anybody from Glengarth or Cassava River, you know, who can, you know, we have some, you know, say, say you have some insight that you can share with us to help us better understand some of what has been going on with one, with Mr. Kevin Smith, now <laughs> I'm supposedly deceased. Um... You know, please give me a call. The number is 876-676-4996. 876-676-4996. 876. Yo, when the people them tell me what I go on, you know, the people them say, Raga, yeah, man, the owl, them we know about them something. That the Morrison, them we know about it too. The Fraser, them we know. Some of them say, oh, them, them, them they are big family in the area, Raga. Hey, Jamaican people not easy, you know. When they give me and I tell me where I go on, apparently you have a lot of howls in that area, H-O-W-E-L-L, and apparently you have a lot of Morrisons, and apparently you have a lot of Frasers and some other name and whatever. You know why? Yes, Raga put it out there and tell the owls them for Carleen and tell it because them know about the, all the something go with the family, and the Morrison them and the Frasers them and the this and the that and the ring. Anyway, again, the number is, but anyway, anyway, yeah, no, I just uh, say if anybody, if you have any link with, um, you know, Cassava River or Glen Gulf over there, you know, in St. Catherine and, you know, and, 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 I, and I see the Cassava River straddle the line, um, give me a call. If some call are coming, I don't can help you understand. Give me a call. But anybody can call in, anybody can call in from anywhere. Prezi, give me the call. Hello. Hello. Hey, Raga. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I'm doing good. You know, um, who is this? No. Take one more guess. Um... Miracle Girl? Yes. Oh, yes. my God. Yes. Oh, <laughs> my God. How are God. you doing? No, I, I have to tell you, you know, usually I am the worst when it comes, when, whenever people can say, Raka, you know, who is talking? And, I, and in my mind, I'm like, oh, my God, here they go again. I speak to thousands of people over years. You know, it's hard for me to remember people, but... I don't know. Oh, I just remember. Well, I, I know. I know why I remember. And she, how are you? Why? Huh? Good. Um, um, guess what? Yeah. Um, last week, yeah, I had was um scrolling um through my um telly. Right. So I um I heard a man. Um, said, are you, um, bringing up the old programs? Right. So, I heard him talking about the young lady in, um, New Jersey and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, I, um, said, 
that's me. Correct. And I've been trying to call you, and you um, said, Miracle Girl. I said, that's me. I've been calling, calling, no answer. So I said, let me um, call you um, tonight to tell you I'm fine and well. I'm doing good. Oh, listen to me. I just... I'm still living. Okay. I just want to mm-hmm. thank you for, for calling. And I know a lot of listeners are... They, they, well, they don't know... <laughs> Well, people have been listening to Raga Shanti for a long time. You know, they're you know they're they'll remember you, but um, I, I I I would surmise that most people listening right now, you know, they don't really know the backstory to what's going on here. But I just listeners, I want you to uh, to just know that you are hearing the voice of one of the strongest, most inspirational. Um, um, you know, people I've ever met, I've ever known, and uh, it, uh, you know, you 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 want to um, the way listeners are, they're gonna be. Why you never just kind of give us some sense of um, who she is or whatever, and um, you you. I know you've been talking um about this man in um back home and. Right. Do you think it's um, irrelevant at this time or what? But no, 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 no. It, it, it is not. No, 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 no. You, you can, you can talk. You can talk, right? That, that is radio. You know, radio mm-hmm. is unpredictable. I always tell people, radio is, is like talk shows are like life. They're organic. We, we have some sense of what's going on, but we we certainly do not have absolute control. And um, it, and it's unpredictable, but it's that unpredictability that you know arguably adds to the beauty of it. So you calling me tonight is just you mm-hmm. know it's just it's just great, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I know what your story means to you. me, so you know it's just great, you know. Well, um, I want to um, say um, congrats with um, you and your kids. You know? Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, no, you see how long we have, you, not, you, see how long, you see how long we have not spoken? Because, yeah, when, because when we first spoke, I didn't have any kids yet. I didn't have any children yet. No. And my no. oldest, my oldest um, is going to be seven in January. All right. And my oldest, no, my youngest is nine. Uh, the one who um, placed me in the coma, yeah. Right, right. She's nine right now, and my oldest is 30. Wow. So, yeah, um, wow. If, um, if, you, don't, if you don't mind, um, I, I, first of all, I want yeah. you to, to, to tell me how you're doing right now, but I, I know them. If I ask, the, if yeah. I ask you how you're doing right now, they're going to be like, well, we're kind of in a vacuum here because we don't know why you're asking her how she's right. doing right now and thing, you know. So it, it, do you mind just just briefly, um, no. you know, just kind of sharing, you, you know, um, what your, your primary challenge was and um, and um, and how you, particularly how you 20, overcame it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's, I think it's the Um, November, I um, relocate, Mm -hmm. and I'm getting better therapy. Nice. I'm doing way better. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm walking. You're walking now? Right now. Nice, 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 nice. With a cane, yes. Oh, congratulations. I am, um, yes. I'm serving the um, Lord now, you know. Oh, yeah. oh, My okay. husband is, is um, still with me, thank God. We have um, challenges, but he is still with me. Right. My speech is way 
much better. Mm. Way much, much better. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, the last time we spoke, you, no. you had a, some heavy breathing when you speak, and it was labored, and it took a lot yes. out of you, you know? So I'm hearing uh, you much better. Well, I'm not on no breathing um, machine no more. Okay. I'm breathing on my own nice. everything. Nice. I'm nice. like a normal person. Nobody would um, believe that I've been in a coma for three months. Um, yes. Listen, could you so. just could you just briefly and and just because yes. of um, the utility of you know you know your story and how you overcame and what is legendary now, you know we tell people all the while your attitude determines your altitude, <laughs> right? Your attitude determines Amen. how high Amen. you go in life. Could you just yes. briefly tell them what happened to you, please? Okay. Um, in 2012, I had a C-section birth. Mm -hmm. It was my third one. Mm -hmm. And I ended up in a coma. Um, my husband had a chance to unplug me, but he um, refused because he, you know, I'm a fighter. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I was in the hospital, went to a rehab from May until um, um, September 4th. Mm -hmm. I don't um, remember these things because... Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My mom wrote them down daily in a book. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I was in a nursing home and a rehab. Mm -hmm. I fight my way through, and I was um, just determined mm -hmm. to walk and talk again. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a challenge, to be honest, but I fight my way through. Mm -hmm. I fight, and then I relocate from the coal mm -hmm. um, to the south. Mm -hmm. And right now, uh, I was on 12... Um, medication. Mm -hmm. Now I'm only on four. Oh, I taught myself how to read, how to write, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. walk again. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been in the rehab trying to work outpatient, but I push my way through because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have four kids Right. 30, 25, 15, and 9. Mm -hmm. So I said, why should I die? And I have four kids mm -hmm. to um, live for. Right, right. So, um, Raga, um, to be honest, you know, mind fail me, but Father God never fail me. Okay. So I just turned my life to God. Okay. And from then, I've been walking with the walker and the cane, and I'm just pushing. I go to one and two parties, uh -huh. and mm -hmm. I've been good, very, very good. Mm -hmm. Right. So people, well, you, you, um, you, that, oh, just so people uh, know, um, the, the professionals that um, pretty much said um, she's not coming back. They're still coming back here. And, uh, you know, they pretty much uh, pronounced her as, um, you know, as, as, as being passed, you know, as, that she died. And, uh, and like she said, uh, her, her then husband, uh, you know, Said he, you know, you heard her just say that um, he's not going to take her off um, life support because she's a fighter. And what she just described to you is actually a very mild, 
a mild description of what she went through, you know? So we're not going to get into yeah. all of the details in that, but no, no. what she went I through, people, yeah, in, I, I just want them to know that people, you have what she went through is, um, I, I even don't know how to describe it. And what was remarkable about her, <laughs> because I gave her the name Miracle Girl, <laughs> but what was remarkable about yeah. her when we spoke to her at the time when she was just in, you know, the, shall we say, like the toughest part, you know, in terms of um, what happened to her and all this stuff. This woman out of coma, she had joke with we and I tell we said, no, I still love her husband and make her run the sat out for him, man. Ray, 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 I'm give thanks to yeah, life. I'm who? I have pay attention to death or not now. And she was talking like I'm talking now. And, and, and I'm sure you hear her speech, yeah. how it is, um, you know, how, you know, it, it has this um, sense of being, you know, more effort for her to speak than, than we do. Trust me, back then when it happened, it was even worse. She could have hardly talked. But even in that, she was just giving us jokes and whatever. And it was just such an incredible inspiration to so many of the listeners and things that you hear she come on now. Remember, um, several shows ago, a caller called in and said, "What happened to Miracle Girl?" No, him did just said this person from Jersey, and I thought it was somebody else. And when yeah. him said, "No, no, no," da 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 da, I'm say, "Oh, Miracle Girl!" And then you know, him, him just kind of jolt my memory. And listen to me, it is just so great hearing you. Wow, what a journey! Yeah, what a yeah. journey. I yeah. I hope to um see you soon okay. when you um come in my um area. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You have my number, so you um know my um Prezi location. Can you see this number? Um is it um where did the call originate uh, from? Uh, Prezi, where did the call originate from? Up here? Huh? No. Um, you can't see the number. Um, Prezi can't see the who, who is seeing the number? Nobody seeing the number? Oh, they're not seeing the number in a miracle girl. Don't don't worry about it. Um okay. we, All right. Yeah. Oh, you see, all right, when I'm going to come off with you now. And stay on the line, and Prezi is going to take the number from you, yeah? Okay. All right. So, take care of yourself, and God bless with your um, new program. Thank you, Marissa, yes. girl, and thank you for being yes. well, I'm just so happy yes. that after all these years, we <laughs> could reconnect and... And just hearing you with that good spirit and congratulations on your transition into you know into um you know you know your faith and that um you know I'm listening to you and you sound you know enhanced and you know and uh, and doing yeah. better and um you know feeling good about yourself and listen man you continue to be an inspiration um to us and um certainly um to the Tam Fam you know given the evidence of somebody calling in and asking for you after all these years. So it means that you have been um, indelibly imprinted in his mindset and, and, and you continue to be an inspiration to him also. And I'm sure the same is true for many of us. So I want to thank you for sharing your story, for inspiring us, you know, and for you just your really, really positive attitude when, you know, you're a living testament that, Listen, it's not what happens to you. It's what you do after something happens to you, you know? And uh, we just want to congratulate yes, you on yes. your growth and everything. And um, I'm going to get the number from Prezi, and I'll definitely get in touch with you, okay? Okay. All right. Blessings. Love and blessings. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that was Miracle Girl right there, man. Miracle Girl. you People on a don't even know they are for what that woman been through. And 
and when she come out I the, the attitude that she had I was like this don't even make any sense <laughs> you know but again you know you know it's naive to live your life to think that you know bad things are not going to happen to you right <laughs> like I always tell people if only good things happen to you in life you wouldn't have anything to work for you wouldn't have any challenges and if you don't have anything to work for and you don't have any challenges or whatever you're only going to grow physically in your body but you're not going to grow now mark you sometimes people take that mantra too far right I've heard people say, yo, slavery wasn't that bad for me. It's like, yo, keep that to yourself here. Right? But again, it is through our difficulties and our challenges and overcoming them, learning from them and overcoming them that allow us to expand our knowledge, allow us to grow tremendously. Right? The concept of success. The concept of success, like doing well. You cannot be doing well in something if you don't know what not doing well is. You want to know the metaphor I always use? The only reason day of a name is because night exists. The only reason night have a name is because day exists. So living your life thinking that it only supposed to be on the good side. There's nothing wrong in, in appreciating good in your life. But just know the only reason why you know something good is because you, you have an understanding of what is bad. So good cannot be achieved without bad existing. So that is why when we experience failures, there's some failures you must embrace and say, this is an opportunity to grow to a higher level of success. I'm telling you all the while about the woman. You see the woman who won the Spanx thing? I'm telling you, I, you want to know some means an NPR freak. I listen to um, public, National Public Radio regularly. And um, that is the other side of Raga. And then I heard her story, and I heard what her father tell her. And where her father tell her, I said, she said, well, boy, this woman is the youngest billionaire, female billionaire in the United States. You know, I said, our company, this woman here, our company, she recently gave all her employees. Each of them get two first-class tickets and $10,000. These are the women who own Spanx, right? Each of her employees, she just surprised them. And give each of them two first class tickets to fly anywhere in the world. Two first class tickets to fly anywhere in the world. And $10,000. I will not talk $10,000 at Kevin Smith, Jamaica dollar them. We are talking $10,000 US dollar, right? But again, what is remarkable about her? Because when I was listening to her telling her story on um, NPR, I'm a pull over, I'm a just absorb it in a man. And she said, when she was growing up, her father, every time she come home, her father said to her, What did you feel at today? And when she started saying it, me, I said to myself, say, eh? and, I, and she said, Every day her father get up and I said, What do you feel at today? You need to be feeling a thing. And she said, she hear that I grew up, I grew up. You must be feeling at things. And what is the result of that? Based on how her father was raising her to view failure, it reached a point where failure was like nothing to her. One. Two. She was already socialized and, and normalized in always doing things knowing that they may not work out. So when 
she do things and them not work out. For she, she not lose her mind or nothing. Right? So one, she socialize for do thing. Knowing that they may not work out. Two, if them not work out, the impact on her is like, you know, okay, so what? I keep moving. And she got to do something else. And if the one that work, it work. And if the one that work, it don't work. Right? And applying that mindset to her living. I mean, she work out, she explained some other things, you know. One of the things she said is that when she had an idea, when she had the idea about Spanx, she said she never tell none of her relative them. She said she never tell nobody. And basically, she offered an explanation. She was just like, no, because I'm going to discourage me. Because she said, at the time, I was in a, what is considered a good job, making, you know, six-figure salary and whatever. So people are going to say, if you go out there as an entrepreneur, where well, you going to left your good job? For? So she said she didn't tell nobody. And she make her look spanks them and thing. And she have a whole story, you know, right? And this woman walk around to the store, them, you know. And when her things, them come, when her spanks them at the store come in, she go in at the people them store, you know, and bring them out of the front. After the people them done put them with them, the she bring them out of the front and just what that type of application, that type of that type of um that type of go getter attitude, like just go do things, you know? Because for she, if them buy the cash, she said one time her things them go in at the store and then put it her back. So she said she go in there and she bring it up. But me I say, you know, what you're witnessing is the application of what her, her dad taught her. Because what going to happen? She going to bring it to the front and somebody may say, Who you? After you don't work here. Come out here and bring it back. So what? She feel. That is nothing to her. It's not even an embarrassment to her. This woman is a multi-billionaire now. Just signed and had a big deal and whatever. And she's so kind and whatever. Right? So within that context, you have to appreciate somebody like Miracle Girl. You know, who had every reason for be the most depressed person in the world. And right in at the middle of what would break most people. This woman was joking and da 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 da. So why I come out of one cool man? Or again, she not talk so whatever, you know? So I look a blessing we get in our night, yeah. And I so we have to welcome them something. We never see it come. You understand a miracle girl call and you know, yeah, I mean run the show. So I welcome that. We make that coming at the show. Cause something else may come and I may do one. I'm look at thing them and sidestep people or whatever. It's me run the show. It's my show. Alright? And we give thanks for the blessing that we get from Miracle Girl in the night. Alright. Give me a call a Prezi. Hello. Hello, good night, sir. Good night, sir. How you do? Wagwan, wagwan. You know, some day I give a proper thanks. Me feel hearty in the night, yeah. Me fi tell you. We are dealing with Me day, man. Me just tell you, me feel hearty. Oh, you're yeah, hearty. Give thanks, man. Yes, yeah, so what you say? Me day, I be boss. You know, say up above us with uh, a Robert, you know. A what? A Robert? A Robert, a show, sir, man. Yeah. With a war, okay, Robert from where above rocks. No, me that call in night, the man last week. Wait, wait, what? No, me call the last night, no. the last night to check and you really call him, man. No, we're well, moving from the radio, Robert. You're supposed to know, we're not supposed to hear the radio in my background. Yeah, all right, all right. Move all right. from it quick, 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 quick. Move it, move it from it, move it from it. All right, all right. Uh, so, what you say now? You did a call and I say what. No, Mr. Amiri, Amiri call in the night and I said, me a link to your woman, lady them. Oh, you mean Miracle yeah. Girl? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. For the ladies, them are you did call and you say, you want, you want to get a girl. You want to get a woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so anybody yeah, did call you? Anybody did call you, Robert? Yeah, but they, 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 them not serious, man. Them not serious. What you mean, them not serious? I play them, I play with you, Robert. Yeah, they, they, they have married woman and blah, blah, and call back, they don't call back number, but me, they all see show still. No, well, on. So you tell me, say, the woman they call it, they never give no talk. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not really good. They and not, you, you give no advice. And you put out yourself out there and put out your number, and them not, anybody they call you from foreign? 
One of them, but they not answer. Uh, some of them are man, man. Man, no, I'm not taking a man call you, Robert. I'm not taking a man. Yeah, man, yeah, man. One of them, one number come up with but a vice mail and anything there. Oh, oh no, but if a if a if a if a man come I can't have a woman a call, you know. I can't want a woman there, one man yeah, I don't like a man, you know, and I check you out, you know. Well when you mean I get no call, we get No call, call when I say me. no. You have one brother up here, for example, them call him Reddington Levy, right? Junior Levy, right? Okay. So every woman go female and whatever, then call one next man. Oh, okay. Right, okay. so so like I could have that did I go on. Him could have did have one one woman I'm yard and then she hear you know. I uh, hear and probably like, you know, kind of pick up like a little sexiness, a little Barry White sexiness in your voice or something. And just I say, you know, some of you get a youth, you call her. Yo, hey, Robert, when we just, when we just I said to you, don't give up, Robert. You're going to get a good woman. Right. Don't. In fact, Robert, give him your number again. Just give him your number again. Put out your number again, Robert. Put out a your number. Put a out. A 501 What that? A 501-1522, Robert Wilkinson, you know? Yeah, no, put, uh, tell him the year I could, because I Jamaica, you call from. So just tell, no, no you see what, Robert, when you're the radio, yeah. you have to talk slow so that people remember that you can't talk fast, you hear? So just tell him your number slow. one 501 you know? You have to say it three times. I saw radio go for them member. It's 501 501-1522, 501-1522, one Okay, five zero one fifteen twenty two. I think you're gonna yeah. get a good woman, Robert. You're gonna get a good woman. And again, just you know, yeah. because a different night now, so different people are listening. Just tell the woman them like what you can, what you bring to the table, and what you can do for them. Well, you know, say all right, so me there, all right. You see, you know, like me, I work in you still like, as a delivery truck you know. Right. And me, 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 you know, the, you want to look like a big you come here, I'm a 30 year now, so. Right. I look somebody who can come in and get food, look for food to cook and anything there, you know, say. Then we get their money a weekend and anything, you see, because we work every day now. No, well, on. So, you, you, but you say, you, you look somebody who can get look of food, you mean you are going to cook for them? Or them for cooking no, food? I no, no, them, I was, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. No. No, no, me just I said, just be clear so that them, uh, tell them, tell them what you are, some man. But just be clear. No, you can cook and them thing there, wash clean and them thing there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you understand? Right. So, and I really like to make a company really and make a go or the real thing. You see what I say? And then what you say about weekend now with money, tell them what they're going to get, yeah? Yeah, they can get the get the money at weekend time and now go and thing and things. So, some of them, when they make a call, but, uh, make them call and feel like, say, we are going to call and a waste credit. Right. And a call you know, and a waste to show. You see? Right, right, right. So right. we're not really going nobody here. So if somebody only who is interested in the area, Seriously. then can call Robert to 1876501 1522. All right. Come from Linstead. Linstead. But the place near my Bob Rocks, I live up above Rocks. Oh, you usually live up above Rocks. But you don't know yeah. nothing about the Smith, them up there. You don't know. No, no, no. That side. no. Okay. Well, no, them no, live no. not, you know, because Cassava River, they above, above rocks, you know, so. Okay, yeah, All yeah, right, yeah. then, cool and thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so um, we give, well, we no, well, 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 Robert, you, you tell them, the ladies, them, what you want and thing and whatever, but nowadays, you know, I, and again, I know you're very touchy about the party and thing, but you just tell them, like, you know, what kind of loving you that give them, because the woman, them, them, they, they, a lot of women nowadays, Robert, they very often find themselves in a position where they invest a lot of time in a man only to yeah. find out that the man can't perform with sat out and thing. And, and, and they very often end up saying, God, if I just known this at the beginning, I would not have, you know, you know gone yeah. down this path. So just explain to them what kind of loving they will get from you. Like what kind of sat out you can give them. Explain to them. Well, we don't really have to talk that far away, the Raga. No, you're not giving them the details. You're mad. You cannot do that. You have to fix it up. But just I say, you, you sell yourself, you know, in, a, in terms of marketing yourself, you know, Robert. So you, the, you have to give them incentive. You have to give them something for say, oh, that sounds interesting, right? So when we just I say, that is a big area for them. So just kind of just explain to them. You're mad, Robert. You think somebody that ask if you get specifics. You can't do that far away, you're mad. 
no, just just ex- no you can't do that and but i do i do not I tolerate really that want, just ex- we don't really want it we don't no. really want you sure you have enough to go on because i no. listen to wednesday ah, night cool, man. So we have to we have to right. respect we have to respect the show and respect the people right PCM. that's why you can't that's go in on a detail you can't go in on a raw detail but you just you yeah, have to just yeah. gen- just tell them generally now what kind of loving you give them like you know how you make them feel what kind of loving are them just tell them well, you know, say, all right, loving, yeah, you know, say, you have to love you have to know, say, you know, really want to go out of the way, but you have to stick to the lady who you have to stick to. You understand? Oh, so no. You can, you, right. You can't you can go out of the way if she or she, because if you find out, say, you are cheap and she going to leave you and you will end up feeling it, you understand? Right, but so how, she, how, how a woman are going to feel after you don't make love to her? How she going to feel? Well, she will alright. We are alright, you know. Yeah, go do what you were supposed to do. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So you know, really like say, you know, but otherwise, still, we we are we not call for like say we are not high glass fan of radio. Right. And we are listening to a long time. See there. See so there. if anybody out there who interested or anything, we you understand. Robert, you ever sat out a woman yet when she when you're done with her and she'll get her for go to the bathroom, she'll be catch her back on the edge of the bed and hold the chair because I need them weak. You ever do that yet? No, no, no. Oh, you never reach a no experience like you want. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, so excuse, no, so <laughs> what do you mean experience? Robert, me no experience. I want to tell you so you know more than me. Yeah. No, yeah, my brother, you're a big man for me, you know. No, but me, I said, no, but like, that don't mean nothing. No. You, you still know more than me. Robert, no, trust me, man. Uh, you know how to satisfy uh, the woman, them uh, more better than me. Yeah, ra- no, Raga, you have no. You see, we grow with the old people, man. They, they show with manners and respect. You see it? Yeah. And then we, we know how to, to, to treat a lady and take care of a lady. Because my mother just out from, she has 70 years old. And we, them show with say. Wrong and right. So you know, say so enough you know, trouble people, things and them thing there. Right, right, right. So in a them the way they would grow up and know say, like uh, you were the fan really you now we hear we respect you as a big man. We not this is what's about you see the show we have to know what we are talking on the show cause we don't want to get in no problem. Exactly, exactly. So uh, what we are talking about say we we know say you're a big man, we hear you on the radio, we respect and we respect all of the people who call in on the show. All so right. we not call like no like no high glass and really talk. We work, me a guy work uh, tomorrow, so you don't know, say, I say, go. So we're not really calling to make no trouble. You see, like, I'm right. not really like the problem. No, 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 no trouble. Me just, uh, uh, you see, since you, see, since you said that now, I'm going to just yeah. make you know I look at thing. And I'm not just give you like a little advice. And um, yeah. it's your choice if you want to um, take it and thing, right? You can't just leave it alone or whatever. But um, from, you know, because you know me, I'm a man who I read a lot and I do a lot of research and thing. You know that, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, man. and one of the things yeah. that I've been reading a lot and thing, I'm just and and again, this is your choice. That when you know when you find your nice lady and thing or whatever, um, there's this thing now. It, you know, it's in the two thousand and thing. A lot of women they love to be bitten, right? They love to like some look a small bite, you not know, like no big, no look a nyan nya, you know. You're not gonna nyam out no flesh or nothing, you know. But them like when you kind of like bite bite them up a little bit, some nice little okay. sexy bite. So. Um, yeah, yeah, you understand, yeah, understand yeah. right? So I just want to yeah. tell you that uh, that around the place, right? Uh, would you be open to doing that to the love of your life? Well, yeah, well, you know, rather we don't, we can. Well, all right, that's what we say. We, all right, we we are open close to the, the personal thing on the radio. Right, right, right. So we never really brought out nothing for us. No, 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 don't. That's why I make sure I don't even cross certain lines. I'm just saying. I mean, would you be open to like, you know, give her a few look a bite up on her leg or upon her if she yeah. says, if she like it, you know? You know, that's kind yeah, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand. You understand so what you say. You'd be open. Not, not really hide you know, you know. Re- not, not really hide. So would you be not open not. to doing that for just like you know, bite her up and thing, you know? And kind You're of not gonna bite her for killer. <laughs> no, you're mad man. I can't. No, no, do me that man. I am a general man. No, do me yeah, that man. man. Yeah. Remember, hey, no, I'm going to tell you, man. I just I said, like, some little, little bite and kind of like lick her a little bit, you know, like slap her with the tongue a little bit and thing. Like. <laughs> raga, you Hey, hey, hey. Raga, you have to be a bit still. Hey, hey, you know that? <laughs> the international people looking. <laughs> 
Robert. Robert, big up yourself. Big up. Ah, all right, Robert. Big up yourself. Don't worry yourself. We there about that. I still respect us still, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. If I respect, give thanks and praise to the most high. Yeah, yeah man. Mad thing. All right. You know, we are you feel? You know why do? It would have made you could have come on for about year ago. You're not really come on ready for that Sunday night. Right. Yes. No, but yes. Robert, what you need to do is get on the internet, you know. You have a thing in Ragashanti TV. Over this sort of thing there, you know, Robert. Okay, okay. Yes, man, okay. you have to go up on YouTube, Ragashanti TV. When we over this, you know, we just talk with mm -hmm. mine and the thing. Nice. All okay, right? Yeah, man. So you need to go over there. That, that's where, yeah, man, that's where I really... Little of people can no time me not really have nobody to talk to on them things. Oh. And I want you to say, I search me there, I search for the station, and I go so bad, I book up on it. So, oh. you know, really, me not really take it off of the station. Because you don't All know, right. say, we are human beings and we are, so, you know, we are experienced. Blessings, man. man. Blessings, people know Robert. we are, you know? All right, so, Robert. Respect, man. Because because I'm I just want to thank, thank, thank you for that respect that you give me and the show and the people, eh, man. And you listen yeah, man, and yeah, yeah, man, pick up yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember say, well, we are one in our bridge. And I like say, well, we might not come for the same mother, but yeah. we are one. Rap, and we have to respect people. Big up yourself, man. Respect, all right. Man. So big up yourself, man. Where you see me there, I listen still, you know? All right, my general. Respect here. Yeah. All right. Big yeah. up yourself, and Big up your producer still, because it's never for you all, you know? Yeah, you see it. We yeah. call him Prezi. A yeah, man, Prezi, DJ Prezi. Yeah, man, yeah. big up yourself in general. And may, may, yo, may, may God bless you and continue with your idea, man. And may you keep it, you see it? My brother, blessings, man. All right? All right? Yeah, man, yeah, protect. Yeah. So, all right, so that was Robert, ladies. And, of course, if you are interested in, for, you know, in um, hooking up with a, 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 a you know, a hardworking, progressive man, you know, who is on the market, you know, to find, you know, he's made it clear that he... Would love to um, get a nice woman, and um, the last time and, and and this time, you know, he explained that the woman that he wants, you know, is one that can wash, cook, and clean, and that he also uh, says that the woman doesn't have to worry because, um, you know, you know, he'll make sure that you get a little money on um, weekends and things like that, and he's in Linstead down there in Jamaica. And um, he's making himself available. Quality man. Quality man, right? Uh, a man of uh, the highest pedigree. And, um, and um, you heard it just now. Um, he did um, display, albeit, uh, you know, a kind of timid um, a, a admission, but he, you know, did display a willingness to at least, um, you know, not be shy about um, administering multiple bites on your body when um, you and him are engaging in intimacy. And he also gave um, some hints, you know, um, that uh, he'd be willing to do even more, but that he would prefer not to um, put that on the air. So give Robert a call. Give Robert a call and start your forever happiness. Hallelujah. We're going to take a break. We're so far away. This is Diane Stewart, and you're listening to my dad, the awesome Raga Shanti, on Bridge 99 FM. Raga Shanti live in your ears, back at it again. I just want to remind you that I'm here on Monday nights, Wednesday nights, and Friday nights. Raga Shanti live from 9 until 11 in Jamaica, which is 10 until 12 midnight here in the United States of America again. Monday nights, Wednesday nights, and Friday nights on the Bridge 99 FM in Jamaica. The Bridge 99 FM in Jamaica. The Bridge 99 FM in Jamaica. You can find them at thebridge99fm.com. Or if you're in Jamaica, just put it on the radio. And if you're in the United States of America, you can um, watch me and listen to me on the Irish Jam Radio app, the Irish Jam Radio app, the Irish Jam Radio app. On Friday nights, the Friday show is broadcast. It's simulcast, I should say. So when you're hearing me in Jamaica, you will be hearing me in the New York Tri-State area area. Right here on Irish Jam Radio, all right? Raga Shanti Live on the Bridge 99 FM. Monday nights, Wednesday nights, and Friday night from 9 to 11 Jamaica time. That is 10 until midnight. U.S. time to the phone lines we go. Good night. Hello. Hi, Raga. What's up? Oh, my God. Congratulations to you, my big brother. I just, from this evening, was 
messing around with my radio, you know. Uh-huh. And then I came upon the number. It was saying that you coming on X time. Right. And I tell myself I must sit up in order to hear you. Oh. Who is calling you from May Pen? May Pen. Mm-hmm. May Pen. Mm-hmm. Yes. May Pen. Ay, what you know? What you know? And the voice sound for me in here, you know? It's hard to. Who? It hard to. It hard to sound so familiar. Oh. It's like, I don't know. We were all over the country with you while you was here. Right. It's Sister Pauline, man. Sister Pauline, how you do, Putus? How you do? <laughs> how you blessed, do? I'm blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Listen to me. I predicted your your fortune, your blessings, everything to you before you left Jamaica. Uh, and I'm so happy tonight. Okay. Hallelujah. Yes, man. Predict it to you. No, man. Thank you, Sister Pauline, man. So Jesus good to hear. Jesus of mercy. I can't tell you how much I... It's like I'm just laughing down the poor house from evening. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Well, you know me and my antics for a long time, you know. And it's me say enjoy life and just um, don't take gone, things too I serious. Make it, sure you uh, laugh, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm trying to say to you, all the credit when finished because I held on to this phone from the okay, uh, operator. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Said, blah, yeah, blah, blah, I'm blah, sorry, blah, I'm blah, sorry, blah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. However, I'm so glad to hear your voice. Blessing, Sister Pauline, man. Big and up I'm yourself, man. I'm still asking God. Yes. To guide, protect. You in your going out and coming in over there. Right, right, And me right. uplift you more and more, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so Hallelujah. much. Hallelujah. Blessings, you're going to, it, it, It's going to happen. You hear me? Thank you. Oh, no, God, no, oh, I, I like that. I like that affirmation. I, 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 yes, it's I, going I, to I, happen. I, and you don't even have to say what it is. Just say, it's going to happen. It's going That's to right. happen. It's going, it's going to, to happen. I like that. I it's like that. It's going to happen. I got goals, you know. So, so when you say it's going to happen, trust me. All right, good. I'm a firm believer in that. If you have that energy there, I think she got Sister Pauline. Okay. I'm sure, you know, the credit I think because she had to be holding for a while. But that energy there, you know. I had that energy there, I want to run me right you now. And the energy there, I want to run me right you now. That's positive. It's going to happen. A.G. Danville, it's going to happen. Karen Harris, it's going to happen. Novlet Howard, believe, boo boo, it's going to happen. Robert Blackwood, it's going to happen. Tanya McCoy Millen, it's going to happen. Delmarine Welsh, it's going to happen. Kerry Kingston, you're listening over there in London. It's going to happen. Carol in London, it's going to happen. Karen Eli in Canada, I see you. It's going to happen. Just say it. Affirm it. Know it. Jamaican Rasta, love for ever thing. I said, no, don't believe. No. Don't believe. Kind of funnel of just believe in it. And it. Rasta said, don't believe. Rasta said, no, it's going to happen. Hallelujah. Okay, Bobby Sule. Um, um, Bobby Sule, I don't know with you if it's going to happen. You know. I don't really know with you if it's going to happen. <laughs> People leave me and I know. I trouble me, I trouble. Hello. Brother. Uh, Mr. Coombs, what one? Good boy, you take two young friends from me for a long time. You can tell me I'm going to be listening to you. Yeah. You know Templar out of Junction, eh? Yes, yes, Mr. Coom. You turn a Templar and you go up on Yavans Avenue, right? Eh. Mm. When you go to Yavans Avenue, you turn left and go down the gully. Yeah. And you go to Cassava Peace, right? Um, not Cassava Peace. You made the mistake Cassava, I made. Cassava River. Beg your pardon. Cassava River. Yeah, pardon yeah. is given. Pardon is granted. Me, 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 me tell you from last week, the Cassava River, you might come from my yard, my wages, but me tell you, me never know. Oh, me never remember, me never remember. Me tell you last week, man, from last week, Monday, me tell you. 
Okay. The man and going sing song mm-hmm. and you reunite with the mother of Cassava Peace. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, Cassava River. Cassava River. Make your pardon me. Because I used to Cassava River down here. Right, right. Because right. I used to Cassava Peace, right? Right, right. Myself too, myself too, you know. I, I, I Cassava Peace. Me, me go to that funeral like two times. Right. And me drive just so I'm good on William Street. Right. Right on William Street at St. Catherine there. Yes. And drop out back at Riverdale. Yes, you yes. You don't need to go with that field. Okay, okay, so okay. I mean, know the road, right? All you right. know this the road, road good. Because you know you used you to tramp those road, you know, when you are going with your thing back in there. No, no, I used to have a truck for 32 years, you know. Oh, that's why you know the place, sir. So. Okay. Me talk, me, me, when, when I say truck, I want to hold truck, but you never give me a truck. Okay. 32 from 1976. Right. Then 2009. Right, right. I mean, I remove it, me do. Right, 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 right. And right. me used to sell water jump, me used to sell 45 gallon jump. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So okay. jump the side from the outside, just like a bush. Okay, okay, okay. All right, listen now, me not, why me call you now? Nobody not tell you about the car. What was carrying the man? I get to understand that the car was boiling. The whole car, the car no good. I want green Toyota car. Eh. And me here said to boil, me here from good source. Well, everybody say you from good source. Oh. Me, me, remember, say, you have a um, work out, you ready to have a police car, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, you know? Mm. So people with the driving station and know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, if you care, even supposed to go up on the, um, the, the um, highway. Yeah. I, I, um, don't know you what time we are born to us, huh? The hill too steep and you couldn't take the car, you couldn't take the hill, but it was boiling from the water front part, the water record. Um, oh, so sorry. it did that. When, when it's a boiling, you, you just want people to know. It, yeah, it did, a it did a overheat. It did a overheat. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, in plain language, the heat. Right, right, uh, right. And when you read it, and I work, yeah. that problem, Raga. Problem, a problem and thing, you know? So That's per- what I heard. So perhaps to make a constabulary force and thing, they need to, um, to upgrade their resources in terms of um, vehicle, vehicle maintenance, no? Right, well, the whole car, well, you can't, you can't mention the whole car. You know, see, you know, you know remember the first part of the year, with them say, you must buy used car, give police. That can't work. That can't work. You can't buy used car, give police and thing. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, this no. Uh, yeah, you hear me? Yeah, all right, yeah, right. Run it quick, Mr. Coombs. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the tour road now. Eh. Me did tell you, say, it's sign off, and if they leave sign off, there's nothing they can do. Right. But what I heard today from one of the tour operators, me not remember which one of them, him said there were different, different tour operators, and there different, different agreements signed. Uh huh. Every a different operator, you know, right? Right. But there is window open up for negotiation, but. It's only the Minister of Security and Justice can open that window. Uh-huh. And in one in my reach away my weight pan. Whether this one or the other one or that, that should have opened my lip out long time. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. So me no come from with the call of my mouth and to the folks. Make your good information. What I heard, everybody try to make your good information, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But uh-huh. people know more than people. See in, see One time I buy a truck and the truck, the truck was doing round town. I buy from DNG worker. Right. And a pure round town. And I buy, go, when I go man live and come back, when I reach, before I reach hard, I had no man. I hear, boo! You ready to take a car you know? Right. Okay. But, but, well, all kind of things happen one time. Your vehicle not too wonderful and right, thing. But, but Mr. No Coombs, no yeah, but be, Mr. Coombs, we are going to go right time because I want to do some other things and things. But, um, but big up yourself, particularly what you share with about the car, real? Right. Because you never really know about that. Looking for your old car, you R- see? Right. Mark, you tell me what about the car, you no look good. Okay, okay. I want blue car, you don't see that paper? Oh, me see it, man, me see it, Mr. Coombs. So I just want to say, big up yourself for that and thing, that you know? That's a private car, that's a, that's a uh, handmark one. All right, I'm going to try to take a call from somebody else before I cut right, one thing. Pre- Prezi, I beg me to take a call from somebody else. All right, else. thank yeah. you. Yeah, man, mm-hmm. All right, I want to somebody to talk about, you know, me 69. Well, I want to remember me 69, yeah, poor thing. She, she drop out, you know. Me 69 drop out and thing, but you don't know it got original Tom Farm and him. You understand? Big up yourself. So, President, what do you call him there? You know, they say you have call. You know, say you have call. What was that? Oh, 
Then, so, let me do that talk to Mr. Kuhn. You tell Mr. Murphy. All right. Not a problem. Not a problem. All right. Catch it. Oh, my God. What is them? Yo, I don't have to be careful. Some of them something I want to send me, you know. I don't have to be careful. Some of them things I want to send me. Oh, my God. Look at that. Mm-mm. I broke on the one broke up, Miss Cherry Wash Belly. I broke on the one broke up, Miss Cherry Wash. Oh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Rise, dirty bongo. I'm about to the business. Don't do it. Don't bro try broke up, Miss Cherry Wash Belly. I'm a good behaving boy. I don't engage in um, activities of ill repute. Not my thing. All right, present me here, me here, me here. 876-676-4996. All right, yes. Um, for you who are asking me about Vivine, Kevin Smith, you have it wrong. It's grand aunt. And Vivine is the one who used to teach. No, I never didn't mention Vivian before. Before I mentioned Sylvie. Right? And both Vivian and Sylvie, they too, according to members of the community, um, who know Mr. Smith and him people, and they too were afflicted with um, the mental illness, according to the members from the community. Good night, caller. Hello. Yes, good night, Mr. Ragashanti. Oh, you do? Not as good as you. Because I look like everything I want for you. You see, you put on weight and I go on with yourself. I mean, for telling me, I'm going to stand up and let me show you my beanie man belly. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you're you watching the video, though. I, I just watched the video with you. You're you watching the video. I'm going to go on with yourself, Mr. Ragashanti. Watch a wine. Watch a, watch a Kiel is kettle wine. Oy, oy. Uh, oy, oy. Uh, watch a dip, you know. Watch a man do the dip, you know, like when I like, somebody woman. Now. You ready for the dip? You ready for the dip? Watch it dip now. Watch it dip now. <laughs> Why? Boy, my man, he pop my class to rat it. I saw it go. I saw it. Raga, you need to give yourself. I'm going to in a studio. No, I mean, it's a fun and enjoy life. I'm going to pass that on to you. But to post, to sit past, and I enjoy him life, you know, because he's gone in the body back. He's gone in, okay. But he did, did I enjoy him life, though? Him did did I enjoy him? Him good to enjoy himself. Him did I enjoy him life, do let me tell you, man. Yeah. In a big convoy in a limousine, in a pool, Mama. with a man over him with umbrella in a pool. You, I, I tell you, no, you in a pool. And you, <laughs> you in a pool, you know, a pool you in, you know. So if you actually just dip in that water, you know, a man if you walk with you yeah. with umbrella in a pool, I want next level sitting with that man. You understand? Listen to me. Yeah. I told me not telling you everything, you know. I was reliably informed, you know. Yeah. That man was make he wa he was getting more than a million dollars a week, you know. Mm -mm. Um well Jamaican money, obviously, but still, you know, what if I money that, you know? A million yeah. dollars a week, more than a million dollars a week. Them say him a, a, a minimum of three offering him collect a day a, every each day, you know. Yeah. And and you see the video when, when people come in later and them have to come put come, put, bring up money, eh? Yeah. You didn't see yeah, that video there? there? Yeah. When them come in late, them have to pay, them have to come bring money and then put the money to him. It's him them bring the money to you know. You understand? Mm -hmm. And when one of them and when one of the women them are bringing like a uh, look uh, two bills a uh, two hundred dollar, him say, yo, uh, 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 <laughs> that all one you bring for your like a Jing Bang family, <laughs> auntie. But what do you think yeah. about him ring can't think? Because he, he, he says some saucy thing in a the man mm -hmm. there in a church no, a preach and that. In pass ring. The man yeah, said somehow the woman and down a full of cobweb and spider dead in there. <laughs> 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 yo, one of them? Yo, Talk people. Them one of them? People, the man them said this in a church. The video out there, who not see it? The video out there, the man said he's sitting in a church or whatever. And people are praising the mm -hmm. man and I big up the man and thing. And then them turn around and problem with me when me talk about my sat out for radio. You see how they wicked? <laughs> Well, never put a little fit me. You, you are going now, no? No, right. you, you have two minutes, just send it on. Mm. One lady, you know, the, in a one taxi, and she said to another one, say, hey. me, I go Spanish one, and the lady said to, to, said to her, say, like, she just said, Janet, you know, you said, Pastor, they're the police, said, and she said, really? 
Well, that now not really me because me talk got a long time. You man say, what do you mean you talk got a long time? Remember mm. say, when I did have your dime look after you, me say, you man shut up, Bob, son, but I said, no, no more. She said, remember say, when what? You man said to you next one, say, remember say, when I did see him look after you, you know. Oh. And he's like, she said, she said to him, say, eh, but me in dead now, so me not have a go there. Yo, man. All in time, in the, in my, all in time, in my never this and my never that, me still a go there. All in time, my this and my that, me still a go there. I know in Elio, I know you are on planet. Me not stop go there. Yeah, no, me, 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 device, no, man, me, a device not you refer to? No, man, oh, what do you say? Okay, okay, all right. No, 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 for that people, some people have tried distance themselves from me. But me, I say some people afraid, I mean, I understand that, you know, because... You know, some people mm -hmm. used to follow him, they're afraid now, so people are going to rush them now and think I embarrass yeah, them and yeah. stigmatize them. And that's understandable, you know, so, yeah. you know, people are distance themselves and thing, you know. But anyway, yeah. we have got juggling you now, you know, because you don't know, I'm going to hours the show do for you, you understand? Yeah, I say we can't find me one night because Jen come on, we can't, we, we me and him can't mix with the life and uh, one and with the, with so, the self. So what happened to Robert in Linstead? I mean, I mean, that's no, a no, crime no, no, can. No. No, no, Robert is not my cat. No, copy. all you have to do is wash, cook, and clean, and he will give you a little money on the weekend. Okay, and, no. and he will bite, own... bite you up. Robert will bite, bite you up. You know, small bites, Mr. but multiple Lager, bites. Mr. Lager, uh, 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 uh. Mr. Lager, Shady, I love oral sex. And if, if he's not doing it to me, I can't afford to handle him. What you okay? say? You love oral I'm sex? Very rough. No, but Robert, him indicates say he will do it. Robert, you need to cut this lady, sir. If you look here, look here. I don't take 20 on this truck, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't take Prentice, I want original. You don't take Prentice, you want, but perhaps Robert will be willing to give you some oral sex. All right, we have to go let go. I can't bother to teach somebody. You can't bother to teach somebody. Them have to come ready. I know if we do the things, them are ready. Yes, you know an apprentice. Me can't bother the apprentice. No, well, I'm happy let go here. I'm happy let go. I'm happy let go here. Yeah, man, people. Yeah, man, people. Link to my calling from. My calling from Linsey, too. And Linsey, they are calling from to a lie. Oh, man. Go on the car. I can check, Robert. <laughs> yeah, people come on to your own and think you know, this is destiny. Come in at this. Anyway, big up yourself. People go over Raga Shanti TV right now and subscribe to my channel. Raga Shanti TV on YouTube. Go over there right now and subscribe to the channel. I'm out, people.